All right, I want to go back and uh, redo this tutorial that I did of creating a Bugs, Buddy, a Bugs Bunny effect, and this time I'm going to do it in PowerPoint 2010 using the Shape Union and Shape Subtract features in PowerPoint. Um, I did a tutorial um, maybe 18 months ago where I showed you how to do this in PowerPoint 2007, and it required a lot of uh, tricky things. You can go back and watch that if you're in 2007. Um, now there's a couple features in PowerPoint 2010 that make this a little easier to do. So um, if you see here, I basically divided this into a top shape and a bottom shape, and I can then put the character in between. That's what allows me to have her layered, see Alice in between the bottom and the top. So let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, the first thing I need to do is insert a character. That's good enough. We'll take Kevin here. Let's go ahead and name him Kevin. So we know what he's all about here. And let's get him roughly the size that we want. Now I'm going to insert a shape. Um, and we're going to take that there. And let's format it. And let's go red and the line color no line and now the shape shape unions and shape subtracts uh, that's what we're going to get into right here so basically powerpoint 2010 has this new feature that allows you to um, join shapes together or subtract them out so if i select this and then that i've added these features to my quick access toolbar i suggest you do the same and i can go shape subtract you'll see it punched a hole out of there well now we still want kevin's head to come up above here but be below on the bottom side. So what we need to do is um, copy this. And we can actually delete it right now. And then let's paste it back in there as a picture. So paste as picture. And then let's do the same thing, paste as picture. And I'll show you why. Get the alignment right again. Uh, now we need to create the top half. So we can go to Format, Crop. Uh, the reason I did it as a picture is it allows you to have the crop features. So I'm not going to worry too much about this right now. Now I need to create the bottom one. Crop that. Take it down to there. And now we can take the bottom we want to be at the very top. And then Kevin we want to be in between the two of them. So let's take Kevin. Boom. There we go. All right. Now I'm going to show you another method of doing the exact same thing. Here we basically have a shape that we've filled and then another circle that I've added on there that I've called hole. Um, let's do the same thing right now. Um, this will be using the uh, shape union. So the first thing I want to do is insert my, insert my rectangle, format it, make it red, get rid of the outline, and now I want to um, create my circle but again I want her head to come above there so if I do a shape fill it won't quite work so I want to create another shape which should be a rectangle that will cover part of her head and we'll just drop that on there we'll do this join the shapes let's get rid of the outline um, you know, I should have checked to see what the looks like this is 3.25 wide that's important to remember um, alright so let's go format shape let's get rid of the line Let's go to the fill. Let's go picture, picture or texture fill. And you'll see she's dropped in there. I actually need to get her so that she, her head's not cut off quite so much. And you'll, you can tweak this. I have another lesson on this that'll show you. I'm um, using the offsets and using the scale is how you kind of uh, change the position of her. So you know, I'm clicking down here. She, you see she goes up. I click up. She's moving down. So let's get her. Let's just say it's 250. Let's see what happens. There, that looks pretty good. Nope, not quite. So let's go 260. That looks good. All right. Uh, make, you want to make sure that it's tiled. If you don't, you'll end up with a weird perspective there. So tile, and you'll have to uh, tweak that a little bit. And now you want that same shape there. Remember, it was 3.25 wide. So we're going to insert another circle. Hold Shift when I'm scaling it. Let's format it, make it white, no line color, get the size to 3.25 by 3.25, bring this to the top, align them, 